Hey guys, Cantina here. Welcome back to another video. Okay, so <laughs> I just saw Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Click away. Spoilers. If you haven't seen it yet, go see it. And then you can come back here. Jumping straight into it. Okay. Um, overall, yes, I did like it. I really did. I mean, okay, I see why some people are like, it's okay. I think it was good. I really do. Like, honestly, my dad was one of the people that was like, yeah, it was okay. I mean, it wasn't bad, but yeah. Like, it felt different than a normal Ant-Man movie. It, it felt like more of a, let's introduce Kang versus Ant-Man 3. So, like, honestly, like, a little disappointed by that. There, there needs to be a fourth one. Like, I wouldn't feel satisfied with this ending. Okay, first of all, we didn't even see Luis. It's not an Ant-Man movie without one of Luis's stories, right? It just, it just felt weird and different that it was more, you know, big scale introducing the next big bad versus just one of these low key, oh, um, let's save, you know, Hope's mom from the quantum realm or like, you know, heist mission. I, I don't know what I would have preferred, like if it was small scale. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of glad they did induce Kang, but I don't know. I feel like they could have focused more on the ant family a little bit more versus Kang. I don't know. I, okay, I, I did like it. I really did. <laughs> I feel like this is a, a good start to phase five. And um, okay, the post credit scenes scare me. Like, especially the the first one. Like, okay, that's that that's a council of Kangs. Looks like this. They have the same goal. But it seemed like, you know, this Kang that we saw that, you know, that he didn't have the same goal. He just wanted to win. But these other Kangs want something else. I, like, did, did, did they specify? specify yet? I mean, I know they want to, like, conquer, but, like, what exactly? Do they want to rule over the whole multiverse? Or did they say it? Am I just being dumb? Yeah, it seemed like, okay, this Kang and He Who Remains were, like, the only Kangs that didn't agree with what the other Kangs wanted. But there has to have been more, though, because He Who Remains says said that there was, like, a whole multiversal war, multiple Kangs fighting each other. I mean, yeah, if there's a king in every single universe timeline, I don't know what to call it anymore. There's an infinite. If there's an infinite amount, then there's gonna be more than just two that don't agree with the majority. I honestly thought that Scott or Hank was gonna die. I was like, oh, I don't want you know, I don't want any one of, one of them to die. And my mom was like, no one's gonna die. And I'm like. Yes, yeah, someone has to die. It's the third movie. The hero always loses something or someone. In this case, you know, Scott could die too. No one did. Well, I mean, Modok and Kang did, but they were, you know, the villains of the movie. When Hank's, like, spaceship, I don't know what to call it, spacecraft, not space, isn't it? Qu quantum craft? <laughs> I'm putting quantum in front of everything. When that crashed, I, I kind of thought he was going to die. But then it showed that silhouette and it kind of looked like an ant to me. And yeah, I noticed that he was like, it seemed like he was getting like frequencies to the ants because I knew knew that the ants, you know, fell down with them to the quantum realm. So I'm like, oh, I think it's maybe one of the ants and they saved them. And that's what ended up happening. So I'm like, okay. And then at the very end, when, you know, the portal to home opened and everyone went through except for Scott. And then, you know, Kang shot Scott. I'm like, ah, then they were fighting each other. And I'm like, no, 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 Scott, no. I generally thought he was either going to die or get stuck in the quantum realm. And then, you know, Kang was running towards the portal. I'm like, no. And then Hope came back out and shot him like, yes, Hope. The two of them are fighting Kang. I'm like, oh my gosh, the two of them are going to get stuck in the quantum realm together. And then, you know, they killed Kang. And then like five minutes later, the home portal appeared back. I'm like, oh, okay. Honestly, really surprised, but honestly happy. Scott deserves, all of them deserve a happy ending. They, they kind of got that, honestly. And the humor, I love the humor. Especially, um, I know they said his name, I just don't remember it. The jelly guy who had no holes. I have holes! <laughs> that was really funny. And then in the very beginning when, you know, Scott's like on top of the world, he's reading his book. Scott, you're, an, you're a, a divorced dad in ex-con. How are you an Avenger? <laughs> And the guy at the, at the coffee shop was like, thank you, Spider-Man. <laughs> that was really funny. The ending basically like being the same way as the beginning. Except for, you know, then Scott being like, wait, we killed Kang, right? Like, that was a good thing. He, yeah, but like, wait, did we, did we really? 
because he said he's gonna come back and you know show everyone did i kill everyone i was like oh no and i'm like ah it'll be fine and then you know they like, went to go celebrate cassie's fake birthday and then he started thinking about it again and i'm like oh no <sighs> he's gonna honestly he's gonna he won't be able to stop thinking about that that's probably gonna haunt him for until um the next avengers movie happens probably because yeah i think oh no no definitely the next time we're gonna see kang is gonna be loki too and obviously i'm not gonna see scott in that every third marvel movie up until this point everyone has the hero has lost something or someone and in this movie scott didn't lose anything or anyone i mean like i said he's just gonna be you know haunted by like did i do the right thing but that's not losing something but yeah i'm just surprised that this movie broke that streak actually yeah kind of happy about it but it just i don't know it feels a little weird it was also weird seeing cassie like an adult essentially you know she was just this little girl that we see in the first two ant-man movies and now she's like you know kicking butt that was awesome to see it was cool to see um reed taking her dad's company and like doing some good with the pim particles and stuff like that was awesome to see Oh, right. The last post credit scene. Okay, really quickly. Oh my gosh. I did not expect to see Loki and Mobius. I don't know why. Like, I, I honestly, like, squealed a little in the movie theater. Because, like, I love Loki and Mobius. I'm really excited for Loki season two. Why is this king in the past? Yeah, I, I'm really excited to see, like, what's going to happen next in Loki season two regarding that. But yeah, I wasn't expecting them to show up. But yeah, I was really happy about that. But those are just my thoughts. And yeah, what did you guys think about it? please let me know in the comments down below. That's all the time I have for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!